It has made uh, students more accountable for their own actions. New technology is changing the way students learn in Stein Austin Town Schools. It's been nearly a month since the district began giving every 6th through 12th grade student a Google Chromebook. And they can use the laptops in the classroom and at home. Today, we headed back to see how students and teachers are adjusting. Here's 27 First News reporter Lauren Wood. Austin Town senior Tara Swecker says she's getting a taste of college a year early thanks to her school's new Chromebook program. I think this is very, like, this is the atmosphere of how college is going to be. A lot of the stuff is, like, turning into technology, and this is really helping with that. It's revolutionizing the way things are done at Fitch. Gone are the days of students sitting in rows at a computer lab. The Chromebooks are always with them. And forget about turning in pieces of paper. Everything is done online. All their submissions are done online. So this is preparing them to get used to getting away from the pencil and paper copies to understand what it is, how to edit online, how to collaborate online with other students, how to get things turned in on time online. If there's technical questions, who to ask. Stephen Ward teaches senior English. He says the new computers help hold students accountable. More work has been completed because there's no more I lost work that, oh, I put it on your desk. It's all online. It's all time stamped when it's turned in. Which is actually presenting a new challenge for teachers. Keeping up with all the work that they're turning in because they are honestly completing work at a much higher rate. It's just a lot faster. It's easier to switch back and forth. Senior Nick Orr says his biggest surprise since the rollout has been how willing teachers are to use the new equipment. They uh, are kind of welcoming technology. Yeah, just as well as the uh, students are. Proof that everyone here is ready for a step towards the future. In Austin Town, Lauren Wood, WKBN 27 First News.